Um, Lucas, you yeah. right there, mate? You've been sitting there very quietly. I've been listening in. <laughs> Lucas is our work experience guy. You've just heard that Mike is a black belt. Uh -huh. right? Okay, so be very careful because we're giving you three questions no to ask um, an England legend who played for Stoke no and uh, no pressure on you at all. <laughs> so you go for it, mate. Shoot, sir. Okay. Uh, well, you've seen Stoke play quite a few times this season. So I was wondering, are there any players you want them to sign this year you think they should sign? Um, what, for next season? Yeah, for next season. Um, well, I think I said earlier that uh, I don't think the supply has been coming from wide areas. Yep. Uh, I think there's been a little bit of a disappointment this season with uh, Kitely. He hasn't really uh, hit the form book in terms of playing every week. Mm -hmm. uh, etherington has been out injured. Yep. And so really I think that's been one of the major concerns for Stoke this season. There's a, a wide player. I think they probably need a wide player. And I've always said, even beginning of the season, before the season started, probably somebody like an Andes or a Suarez or a Guerrero, that type of player. Um, Michael Owen came in, but he hasn't. He's that similar type of player who gets in behind defences and around the penalty area. And I think that kind of player, again, I would like to see, because again, they haven't scored that many goals, and particularly away from home. And when I was coaching at uh, Stoke. Um, in the 90s, we had a, a Mike Sheeran, who uh, we weren't in games uh, when I was Lou McCarty was manager. I was his coach. We weren't in some games at half the time, and uh, he would just pop a goal in from nothing. And he was that type of player who, who create half a chance and, and finish a, a really good finisher. So I think those are two players where probably Stoke need to be looking at for next season. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, staying on top of current current players. Seeing as you played back, back in the day you played as a left back mainly, didn't you? Um, who would you hate to have marked nowadays? Hate to have marked? Um, God, blimey. Probably Ronaldo if, if uh, he plays out wide, but he shifts about, you see. The, the players shift about nowadays. I mean, Messi uh, plays wide right now and again, but then shifts about into central areas. So I think the European game now, the, the, there's not that many sort of wide out and out players who stay out and out wide, they, they make runs in field and leave the space for the players to get into. So it's that type of game now. Yeah. So uh, I think probably uh, Messi would be the one. Yeah, I see that <laughs> popular answer. Uh, last question, uh, back in the 70s when you used to play, which footballer did you say had the best haircut back then, back in the 70s? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to. Yeah, Georgie Bess. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. A bit like the Beatles. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. Three, three questions, yes. Um, he might be after your job in a few years, so, so you watch out for Lucas. 